want to deal the highest amount of magic and arcane damage at the same time, become very OP right from the beginning, and fear among everyone that gets around you. Well, today I'm going to be showing you guys a build that is going to rock your head. You guys are going to become so powerful. You're going to be melting people. You're going to be dealing over 19,000 damage for level 150, melting away enemies and foes in just in seconds. And today I'm going to be showing you guys what attributes, what talismans you guys are going to be needing to be deleting anything that gets in your way. If you guys like how that sounds, a like is much, much appreciated. Also, just want to say thank you for those that hit the thanks button and also for those that joined the Bold Nation. You guys help us out to keep the dream alive. And also guys, don't forget to hit the subscription button because we got so many more builds coming out for Elden Ring and also we got tons and tons of games coming up for the month of October and September. So you guys don't want to miss on those. So let's get started. We're going to be focusing on this weapon, guys. This weapon is so amazing. Deals tons of damage per second. It just deletes anything that gets in the way. As you guys saw it right from the beginning, you guys got to see how potent this thing is does and just multiplies damage one second at a time and i'm going to be showing you guys later on in the video what exactly you guys need to do what talismans you need to do and also character status so you guys can be very op run from the beginning so we're also going to be pairing it up with the korean knight sword why because this one goes just perfectly because it deals physical and magic damage at the same time and then on top of the regalia of oakshide it deals also physical and magic damage but do not do not let the attribute scaling fool you guys this weapon is just too op to be missed on now if you guys missed on this weapon let me show you where exactly you need to go to go find this weapon because it's a must. It's a must that you guys have need to have this in your arsenal. So pull up your map and you guys are going to be going to this location, to the Gale Cave. I'm telling you, you guys can become very OP right from the beginning. Now, if you do have this weapon, you, this is what you need to do to make it very OP. So go through the cave. And as soon as you finish and defeat the boss that's right at the end, you're going to go through another um, opening, which is going to take you outside around this section. And then you guys will see around this section where the sword is. Just pick it up. And trust me, you guys are going to enjoy that weapon. Now, if you guys don't have the Carrion's Knight Sword, this is a very, very easy find. You do not need to defeat any big bosses. It's actually going to be around this section. It's going to be carried on a carriage by the two big giants. Just bring down one of them, and then you guys will be able to open the coffin that's right behind. You guys are going to be able to acquire that weapon and... We are going to be pairing it up and just let me show you guys what type of talismans you guys need to use for this weapons. The first one is going to be the Millicent Prosthesis. This one, guys, is going to boost five points under dexterity, raise your attack power with successive attacks. And that is what we're going to implement in this build. We're going to become so potent, so deadly in just few seconds and i'm talking about a few seconds within three seconds you guys will be deleting anything we're going to pair it up with the rotten wing sword insignia which is greatly raises the attack power with successive attacks so you guys know where i'm getting to now where can you get this two different type of talisman this is part of the millicent's quest line it's a big big quest line. it's going to take about almost an hour to complete we have a full detail guide on what you guys need to do to be able to get the two different talismans and these are a must and those are one of the best talismans that you guys can get in the game and next we are going to get the ritual sword talisman this one is going to raise the attack power 
when HP is at a maximum. And that is what this talisman goes perfectly with the weapon itself because they just go one and one. One is going to raise the attack power and the other one is going to take advantage of that in deleting anything really fast. And then we're going to use the Shard of Alexander, greatly boost the attack power of skills that is within this weapon. And let me show you guys what the skill is within this weapon. And that is the Echoid Dancing Blade. And trust me, it dances and it flows and it moves like it was Muhammad Ali. And it stings like Mike Tyson. Okay, with this weapon, we're very easy, guys. Very easy to use. One of the good things that you guys could do is always jump attacks because we are using two of the same type of weapons. Then after that, let's just say you guys do jump attacks. And look at this, how fast you guys are able to wield both weapons at the same time. It does different attacks, which successively, get it? Oh, with the two talismans, you guys are optimizing this build to the highest level that you guys can get it with this two straight swords. And I know there's not a lot of builds out there with straight swords, and I'm bringing you guys exactly one very powerful straight sword build that you guys not only can do jump attacks, you can I guys use both weapons at the same time doing successive attacks using the two type of talisman that are going to increase your power by each each hit that you guys are going to do and then on top of this we are going to be using the unique skill that is with this weapon just take a look at that graphic and it does a final blow i'm telling you guys it's very fun and then we also have the other weapon if we want to use it together with this one but if you guys want to just use it by itself you guys could always use this and it just increases that damage and it does over 4,000 on just one single hit. And totally, let me tell you guys, look at it. Look, that weapon just gets longer, longer and stronger, dealing tremendous amount of damage. Now, how do we make this even more potent and sicker than what it is? And we are going to be using the following crack tiers in this build. One is going to be the Torni Crack Tier. This one's going to temporarily boost your success of attacks. It's going to go well with our two talismans that are actually doing the same thing. And we're taking advantage of the other two talismans, which are going to raise our skill and our power when our HP is high to the highest level. We are going to be deleting. And on top of that, we're going to be using the Dexterity, not Crystal Tier. The other option that you guys could use is the Magic Shrouding Crack Tier. Since the weapon itself does scale with magic, you guys are going to be able to temporarily boost your magic attack for about three minutes additionally. But the good thing about it is that either magic or dexterity not both of them work just about the same. I've done several tests and trust me guys, the same amount of damage over 19,000 you guys are going to be dealing. And, but it's all up to you depending on the type of build you guys are using. If you're using more magic then you use that. If not, you can always use the dexterity not This weapon, scales by dexterity and also it scales by strength but it does scale by arcane but let me tell you a little secret the best thing you guys can do in this build and we are going to go with our character status is that you guys are going to put arcane to the highest level in your character status because even though this weapon scales second to arcane it actually scales even more stronger with Arcane. I don't know if it's broken within the mechanics itself or from software soon we'll fix it, but I don't know. I don't know, but take do take advantage of that. But what we're going to be doing is in our flask, we are going to use the dexterity not to be able to increase the power that is within this weapon even more. And you guys get to see when you are using it and you are seeing it here in the gameplay, you have seen it in this build, how potent how it is able to delete just anything that gets in its way. Now, Vigor is going to be at 40, giving us enough HP just to stay in the game and be able to take care of our business. Mine is going to be at 28 Endurance, at 20 Strength, at 20 Dexterity is going to be at 23. And of course, we are using a couple of things to be able to raise our Dexterity. And if you are new, to Elden Ring, let me show you guys really quick. One is going to be this mask itself. It, this one, it actually gives us about 
as you guys see there, three additional points to our dexterity. And the Millicent Prosthesis is going to give us five. So in total, we are gaining eight additional points to our bill, which is really good because it does raise the attack power within the weapon itself, especially the main one that we are using. And then intelligence is going to be at 18, just giving us enough points to be able to use our other magical weapon. And faith is going to be at 25 because we are using two different types of incantations. One is flame grounding some strength. The other one is golden bow. Now, if you guys want to go the extra mile, you can always throw in an additional um, incantation. And in this case, I have the lightning spear. And then arcane is going to be our highest one, which is going to be at 60 because this weapon, it just scales better with arcane. And if you guys don't know, arcane is just very OP in the game itself. And I think it would patch 1.04. This weapon, yes, the Regalia of Echoi became so potent because of Arcane itself. It just became even better. So now that you guys know how to put together, go and take care of your own business with those foes in Elden Ring. And if you guys made it this far, I just want to say a thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for making it this far. And also, guys, don't forget to hit that like if you have not. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscription button because we got more Elden Ring videos and we also have a huge library. We got the most builds in YouTube that you guys can find at this moment in Elden Ring. So just head over to our playlist and you guys will find tons and tons of builds and guides that are going to be helping your way to becoming a lord in Elden Ring. Now, if you guys love builds, take a look at this build. It's a fire and bleed at the same time. Three OP weapons that are so broken and that pretty much just break the entire game. Take a look at them. Trust me, you guys are going to enjoy them so much.